Can I build a pickup truck? Out of Pringles. Out of Pringles cans. Let's find out. Welcome to the series where I attempt to engineer and build something out of a random material. Now within a time limit, I'm thinking like six hours maybe. If I'm successful, then I get to destroy it. But if I'm not successful and I fail, then I take a punishment when the time is over. Also, thanks and welcome to all the new subscribers. It's been a really long time since I've uploaded anything. And that is all thanks to Calculus. All jokes aside, I've been busy working on my mechanical engineering degree, so I haven't been full of opportune free time. Now, speaking of time, let's not waste any more and get right into episode three with some changes and a new interesting build request. Today, I'm attempting to build a pickup truck out of Pringles cans as requested by Dallin Drake. Yes, I know it doesn't say pickup truck, but I did hit Dallin up to say, what vehicle are you talking about? Pickup truck became the answer. Now, you know, I, I would say that I would probably do a Ford Raptor because that, that just seems like the ideal truck. So. What? Okay, we may or may not be related. Let's go get some Pringles. Many Tic Tacs later. All right, it's another day just with various Pringles chips cans. No chips, just the cans. Where'd all the chips go? <laughs> well, I definitely didn't attempt to eat a whole stack in one go. Here we go. Or taste all seven chip flavors I had at once. Nah, I bagged them all up with gloves and gave them all away. Most of them. Oh, and by the way, I'm not sponsored by Pringles. Pringles, not sponsored. Yeah! Now before I start Jimmy rigging up the truck, let me give you a little outline of the build. To create this Pringles truck, I'm gonna take my main material of 18 Pringles cans with their lids, along with hot glue to use as a bonding agent to bond either just pieces of the, the Pringles cans together or even just whole cans themselves. And then I'll use skewers as structural support. I'm going to use a reference photo of a Ford Raptor and sketch out my idea for how I'm going to build this Pringles truck on engineering paper. And I've only got six hours to make it happen. So let's hope I can do that. It's time to see if I can build a pickup truck out of these empty Pringles cans. Okay, six hours is now on the clock. So let me start that timer and we're rolling like Josh Brolin. Transition. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna look at a reference photo of the Ford Raptor right now and try and just see how I'm gonna do this. So I don't have any idea, but we're we're gonna figure that out. There's the beautiful sketch of a possible way to actually do this. Looks so good. Look at that, we have suspension. Take three of these and we're gonna make the back.
back wheels, different type of wheel, but it's because I ran out of cans. Isn't this the most beautiful windshield you've ever seen in your life? Let's just throw together some little Mirrors, mirrors, mirrors. Wait on. <laughs> oh man, I did not plan for the mirrors. Um, I'm kind of regretting that. Three, two, one, and there's no sound, but we just hit the end of the timer. There you go. Look at that. Zero seconds. Okay, well, first impressions on how I did, I would say that I didn't entirely know how the Pringles cans would be. Um, more down to the fact of the material being so just like stiff. But the thing that has no excuse for looking so bad are the mirrors. Like I, I legitimately didn't plan for those. They're not even even, and they're just a little slit of cardboard. I could have made something a little bit more detailed and I didn't and that's on me. Like it fulfills the criteria for building the Pringles truck but in the ways of designing it I could have done a little better at least. Let's just move past what I'm trying to say and all this stuff as I can tell that my perfectionism is coming in and I'm gonna say it's a success and it's now time to destroy this build. Now with that I have my bag of colored cubes. There are five colored cubes each one representing one way to destroy this. Whichever color that I draw is the way that I'm going to destroy this Pringles truck. Looks like I'm going to strike it either with a bat or a sledgehammer. It's gonna be so so fun. Now without further ado let's go outside and destroy this Pringles truck. <clears throat> All right, it's another day and the project is done. And I'm so glad that it's done because this was one of the most challenging projects that I have ever done. And it looks pretty much like a truck and it's the Pringles truck. That's what's the coolest thing. Uh, this project was probably, I don't know, it, it just was, something that I would say is good, yet I'm not I'm like a huge fan of it. So I'm, I'm contemplating maybe like keeping it. Why? Well, I guess I'm not keeping it. I was like, maybe I should keep it. Maybe I should not keep it, but it's too late now. Now it's definitely too late. Be sure to drop your ideas in the comments below if you have any for objects made out of any random material. That can be anything, just as I said, just try and make it logical. And your idea could be the next thing that I attempt to build. You can also put it on my Instagram, which is at Riker Drake, if you don't want to put it into the comments here. And also, they, 
Thank you to my cousin, Dallin Drake, for being a part of this video, especially in suggesting this, this idea to build a truck out of Pringles cans. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Subscribe! <laughs>